Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the People's Team, episode 245, another episode of the weirdest and wackiness that is me. Hello. Um, today I want to talk about the uh, possibly, a possible suspension for Tom Brady um, due to the Deflategate scandal. Um, I, you know, I've given this a lot of thought, and you know what? Weird thing is about everybody's upset with Roger Goodell, um, he's a joke as a commissioner, I get it, no problem. But I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a little bit of suggestion to all my Patriot uh, fellow Patriot fans out there who love the Patriots so much, who love Tom Brady, and I think I have a surefire way to send that message without you guys getting people getting arrested, people getting killed, um, people getting starting fights. Here's how you do it. Now, let's just say the opening night against Pittsburgh in September. If Tom Brady is suspended, let's say if he's suspended for more than six games or more, or up to the whole season, every Patriot fan should wear a Tom Brady jersey. And once they see Roger Goodell walk out into Gillette State onto the field, Gillette Stadium, they don't have, they don't cheer, they don't boo, they don't even clap, they don't even want to say anything to him. And I'm sure they should never look at him. All they do is when he walks out into the field, every Patriot fan should turn around with their backs toward towards Roger Goodell, hold up signs, and make sure the sign is facing the camera, like you know, right or side that support Tom Brady. Don't bring in signs of Roger Goodell's a joke, the NFL's a joke. I'm, you know, um, you know, don't you don't even give the haters some fuel. Don't even do that. Just show your support and love for Tom Brady. If I was there at the game, I would do exactly that. And while right and now, but make sure you do it before the national anthem and after the national anthem if the ceremony keeps on going. Because you know, I think during the national anthem, you should turn around, face the American flag, and show your respect and love for our country. But then afterwards, if Roger Goodell decides to talk, turn your backs to him, literally. Make sure your backs toward him, towards Roger Goodell. Hold up, hold up signs that support Tom Brady. You know, you can hashtag it: "Free Tom Brady," "Reinstate Tom Brady," um, "Tom Brady's innocent." Tom Brady is the G O A T, the goat, greatest of all time. You know, Tom, we love Tom Brady. Show your support for Tom Brady, and that's what I think. You know, should I think that's what Patriots fans should do when you go to Gillette Stadium. If Roger Goodell ever dares step inside, inside the field in Gillette Stadium, everybody should turn their backs to him. Don't don't even throw think of throw things at him. Don't even yell derogatory comments at him. You send a strong message. You know, there's a saying: actions speak louder than words. Sometimes they say silence is golden. Don't even cheer, boo. Don't even clap. Don't even applaud. Don't even not even a golf clap. If now this is only happen, this will only should happen if Brady is suspended six games or longer. Now, if it's one or two games, all you can do is hold up the sign. Don't even look at Roger Goodell. Hold up the sign that supports Tom Brady. Don't even you know block your faces that way. Don't let Roger Goodell see your face. But then again, I mean Roger Goodell should get the silent treatment from the New England Patriots. Plain and simple. I mean, I didn't. I did my complaining. I did. I did. Um, I said, you know, I said Roger Goodell's a joke as a commissioner. They should fire him and all that. You know, there's petitions out there, but I think you'll send a strong message to Roger Goodell. You patriot, patient, faith, patriot fans, listen to me. You will send a strong message to Roger Goodell if you have your backs turned towards Roger Goodell like this. All right. Anybody makes fun of this bald spot, they got to get a good atomic wedgie. And I mean it. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, this is a ball spot. Although, you can you say, hey, Roger Goodell's hair after he gets done with the flake gate. <laughs> That's funny. That would be good. That would be good. Roger Goodell is a ball spot. All right. Um, and hold up the sign. Make sure the sign's facing uh, front. It says something like, I support Tom Brady. Um, Tom Brady's innocent. You know, something like that. You do that, you'll send a message, a major message to Roger Goodell. 
You know? Even the haters will take notice and go, they're really pissed at the commissioner. They're really pissed at the commissioner. I'm sure they'll be um, having fun with it, making making fun of this, and they say, why? You know, that's why I think it will happen. Because if it's more than likely six, six games to almost a season suspension for Tom Brady, I think that's what Patriot fans should do. Be silent, but send a strong message. Who knows? You earn respect from the haters. I don't know. It's been that kind of it's been that kind of week. You're interested to see how this goes down. Most people want to boycott the NFL. Most of them don't want to watch the football, or watch the Patriots. I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to do just fine. He's got the perfect people to help him out. Josh McDaniels, Bill Belichick, Brady's been mentoring him a little bit last season. So it'll be very interesting to see what Garoppolo can do. And I'd like to see Garoppolo get in there, get some time. Well, that's all the time with that we have for that. Um, this came in the mail today via eBay. The Lost Stooges. I have it on VCR, but VCR is going to be old by now. So kick it up a notch. The Lost Stooges, and it's narrated by, by the one of the best film critics ever, Leonard Maltin. I haven't heard from Leonard Maltin. I don't, I don't know if the guy's still alive. The guy's got to be still alive. I don't know how old he would be. Um, but Leonard Maltin, a legendary uh, film critic, right up there with Gene Shalit and Cisco and Ebert. So that that's my idea, and the Red Sox lost again today, seven to one. Which I don't know, it's not getting very in the way. It's starting to get entertained. They fired their pitching coach one the Evans yet yesterday, and they had this with Carl Willis. What are you talking about, Willis? You know, as their head coach, it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Well, we, my brother Michael's in town. I'm really excited about that. Don't know what's going on. Kind of quiet again. Don't tell me they left the house again. Jeez, I don't know what's going on with my family. They never tell me anything anymore. <laughs> eh, whatever. <laughs> eh, gives me a little bit more free time. Well, that's all the time we have for this, on the show today. And remember now, I am the first Eric Lima, the next Eric Lima, and the last Eric Lima. There's no other Eric Lima. Not only that, the mall opens at 10. Peace. <laughs>